Hey folks, we're talking about how car accidents cause traumatic brain injuries. In a car crash, the victim sustains a blow to the head or has her head whipped violently back and forth or side to side. That causes the brain to slam violently into the inside of the skull. It can cause tissue to tear and blood vessels to rip, especially since the inside of the skull is rough and uneven. Usually the injury is at the point of impact, but sometimes it can be on the opposite side. This is called a coupe contra coupe injury. The question then becomes, is it a focal or diffuse injury? Focal injury means a specific area of the brain, usually the frontal or temporal lobe. That's the front or the side of the brain. That injury can be detected many times through a scan like an MRI or a CT. A diffuse injury is an injury that occurs when the neuronal axons, which are the long arms of the brain cells, become stretched or even destroyed. Think of those arms as the telephone lines of the brain. Damaging those prevents the brain from communicating with itself and the rest of the body. And here's the scary thing about that. While this is the most threatening and widespread injury to the brain, it is usually undetectable through scans. Most of the time it's detected through lack of function. That's why it's important to watch any car accident victim closely for signs of brain injury. From a legal standpoint, brain injury cases can be complex cases where it's vital to protect the survivor's right to maximum compensation you need an attorney who's comfortable handling brain injury issues. I thank you for thinking about this with me, and I hope I see you soon.